An enraged gorilla insisted on keeping people away from him, which worried the sanctuary staff to no end. But when they looked at his hand, they were even more shocked. Adversity characterized Bobo's early years at the Mafu Primate Sanctuary. Bobo was tragically taken from his mother by poachers when he was just two years old, leaving him an orphan unable to take care of himself. When sanctuary workers found him, he was reintegrated with other young gorillas who had experienced comparable traumas. Over time, Bobo developed into the dominant gorilla in his pack, gaining strength, size, and control over other gorillas at the sanctuary. He was an intimidating presence due to his great size, which discouraged any poacher from trying to confront him. Luckily, Bobo was loved to bits by the South African sanctuary, as were all the animals under their care. They have saved more than 300 apes and monkeys over the course of their many years of operation offering refuge to those who are in need as a result of poaching or injury. Bobo was raised by a woman named Alyssa, who was very important in helping him develop into a strong and intelligent gorilla. As someone who had known Bobo for a long time, Alyssa was familiar with his peculiarities. She could tell when he was happy or about to lose his temper. With her special link, Alyssa was now the only one who could get through to Bobo. Their bond was as strong as a mother's and son's. Even though Bobo had grown significantly, while Bobo's colossal size, weighing 300 pounds with a commanding presence, might lead one to expect aggression, he harbored an unexpectedly sweet side. Although capable of asserting authority when necessary, Bobo's true nature revealed a gentle and affectionate demeanor. This was a trait he regularly showed to some of the staff and apes who were in the sanctuary. It was always unusual to see a creature of that size acting so tenderly and affectionately. Nevertheless, Bobo could quickly revert to his violent and formidable demeanor whenever other male Gorillas tried to challenge him for his alpha status. For example, a fight broke out when Kibu and McCain, two younger men, tried to subvert Bobo's authority, even after Alyssa and the keepers intervened to divide the animals. The challenger's chances of winning were diminished, and Bobo remained the alpha. But one day, Alyssa noticed that Bobo was acting differently than usual. Usually he wandered around his enclosure, interacting with different stimuli and displaying interest in other people's activities. But lately he had taken to hiding in the long grass, putting himself physically and psychologically apart from the group. For Alyssa, this behavior raised red flags. She watched Bobo intently, determined to solve the mystery, and saw that he wasn't just hiding himself in the long grass. Rather, he was hiding something. Gorillas are intelligent, sensitive animals that are capable of hiding things from one another. Even in the face of overwhelming strength, Bobo was no different. Recognizing the challenge of investigating, without endangering herself, Alyssa devised a plan. Seizing the opportunity during Bobo's mealtime, she locked him in his cage, ensuring a safe entry into his enclosure. Unfazed by the sudden confinement, Bobo focused on his food. Alyssa carefully entered the enclosure wading through the long grass with a keen eye for anything suspicious especially around the area where bobo had been acting mysteriously she was shocked to see that everything was perfectly normal 
except for some grass that had been trampled where he had been sitting. Nothing interesting or noteworthy was present in that area. Alyssa was relieved about this because she had been worried that Bobo might have gotten hold of something that could be harmful to her or him. She didn't realize that Bobo hadn't actually hidden anything in the grass. Instead, he always carried that item of concealment. It wasn't until Alyssa saw him closely inspecting something in his hands that she realized this. Now that she knew the gorilla had tricked her, she was more determined than ever to learn the truth about his enigmatic possession. The trick was getting close to Bobo because he would get agitated and enraged if someone tried to get close to see what he was holding. Every time someone tried to find out his secret, he would always pull away and hide in more peaceful areas. Alyssa and others tried, but Bobo defended whatever he held in his big hands with great ferocity. When other gorillas sensed he was being secretive, they even started to show interest. But Bobo would scream and drive them away, making sure no one found out. Even though it was generally difficult to approach Bobo, Alyssa eventually succeeded in getting close. Enough to see what he held after multiple failed attempts. She was speechless at what she saw and had her mouth hanging open. It was not an ordinary item, nor a treat he was hoarding, rather. Bobo held an odd and surprising object in his hands. A small animal. After some closer examination through binoculars, it was discovered that the small animal was actually a galago. A rare species of primate kept under observation. Most likely, it had come into Bobo's enclosure from the nearby forest. And Bobo had raised it as a pet. He touched it and prodded it and even played games with it. The tiny gonago seemed perfectly content. With the large mess of a gorilla that took care of it. Despite the striking size difference. Every now and then it would go play in the. Tall grass or something. But it would always come back to Bobo as if it was happy to have him around. Galagos usually hunted and moved in the dark. So Alyssa surmised that the little animal might go out at night. But when she saw that Bobo was actively sharing and feeding the small primate himself, her surprise only grew. Alyssa and the staff were astounded and intrigued. As the other gorillas in the sanctuary still Bobo made sure they all kept their distance. He was so big. Though. That it seemed like all the affection Alyssa had. Given him growing up was now focused on his little. Very different. Galago partner. This is the end of the first story today. Now let. S continue the second story. In the streets and alleys of the city we can often see stray cats and dogs. In order to survive, they have suffered too much. Some stray animals wandered with their parents because they were born, and some were lost by their owners. So they don't have the ability to survive at all. Their fate is all determined by people, and they have no choice. There is no way to resist. It is tragic. Fortunately, some stray animals will be helped by local shelters. At least there, the stray animals can live without the threat of starvation. But even though their lives are difficult, they still retain a pure feeling in their hearts. There is such a kind-hearted little boy who decides to adopt a stray dog in an animal shelter. Seeing the dog in front of him, the boy shed tears with sadness. What happened next that the scene moved? Everyone present. Jackson is four years old this year. He was born in the small town of Charleston, South Carolina. 
USA. He and his parents live a happy life. Jackson's father is a Marine and often lives far away from home. Work somewhere. Leaving him and his mother at home. Jackson's mother did not go out to work. And her main task was to stay at home and take care of Jackson wholeheartedly. Like any other four-year-old. Jackson has a lot of energy and often enjoys playing in the yard. Jackson's mother is a keen advocate for animal protection. Helping local animal shelters find homes for stray animals. In her spare time, Jackson's mother would share with him the stories. Between herself and animals. Over time, under the influence of her mother, Jackson's love for small animals gradually increased especially for dogs, which are Jackson's favorite animals. He fantasizes about one day being able to play with all the dogs. The mother told Jackson that the family can only have three dogs at most. At present, there are two dogs and one cat in Jackson's house. Jackson's favorite is one of the dogs named Geo, because it is very quiet. The gentle character gave Jackson the warmest company. Jackson spends hours in the yard with the dogs every day. Until the day ends in mud. The dogs brought him as much joy and smiles as children. In addition to taking care of Jackson, Jackson's mother devoted all her energy to them. Cause of helping stray animals. And also helped to make up for the sadness that her husband could not be by her side because of her career. The most worrying thing for Jackson's mother is to take care of her four-year-old son. Because as the child grows up, he will be interested in more and more things. In addition, Jackson's love for dogs. He wants to raise more dogs. But there is a rule in the family that dogs cannot be kept. Although his mother will treat all animals equally, some dogs are naturally aggressive and may hurt humans, such as dogs like bull terriers. There are also some dogs that were born for the cause of dog fighting, and there are many unfriendly factors growing in their bodies. If there is not enough time and love, it is impossible to influence the hearts of such dogs. But there are some dogs that naturally display warm qualities towards humans, as well as their strong desire to protect, such as dogs like golden retrievers or border collies, which are generally bred as nursery dogs. Although dogs have different personalities in the eyes of children, they are all cute little animals. Once children get in touch with dogs, they will give them all their love unconditionally. Jackson's favorite dog breed is a pit bull. But Jackson was told that if he wanted to adopt a pit bull, he had to work hard on his own every week. He would save half of his pocket money to help him develop good financial habits, which allowed Jackson to learn a lot from it. Many people may wonder what a four-year-old child knows, but in the following days, they will be surprised to find that children can do many things that adults cannot do. Because Jackson's mother has been helping them. Animal shelter for a long time. She sometimes brings Jackson with her. Jackson has the opportunity to visit the animal. Shelter and learn about the living habits of many small animals. Little Jackson called the animal shelter a cute factory which allowed him to learn about new animals and make many new friends. The staff of the animal shelter all knew this cute little guy. It was a very ordinary Sunday. As usual, Jackson was out on a mission with his mother. They were about to visit some animal shelters. But today there was a mission. Jackson was allowed to adopt another puppy. Jackson brought all his pocket money with him ready to give the puppy a warm home. 
Jackson and his mother are going to an animal shelter they have never been to Charleston. Animal Society. Jackson is ecstatic. Because he is about to explore an unknown place. Which makes him feel very excited. And maybe he can meet cute and interesting. Little One's Animal. After coming to the Charleston Animal Association. Jackson and his mother introduced their purpose of coming. And then they were led by the staff to the place. Where the stray animals lived. At this moment. Jackson was caught by a black and white animal in the corner. The dog attracted attention. And I hurriedly asked the staff about the dog's information. This cute puppy is named Penelope. It is a dog that has just been adopted. Because it is not very familiar with the environment. Seems a little timid. Jackson came to Penelope's side. Knelt down and tried to stroke the dog's head. But to his surprise, the dog ran away in fear, which made Jackson feel lost. Generally, dogs are very close relatives. But this dog is behaving very abnormally. After learning from the staff that the dog had been hurt by humans when it was wandering. So it still doesn't. T trust humans very much. Jackson felt sorry for the dog and patiently communicated with Penelope, bringing snacks to the dog. Penelope seemed to sense Jackson's kindness, gradually let go of his guard, and tried to accept Jackson's kindness. In this way, Jackson quickly established a friendly relationship with Penelope. Jackson told his mother that he wanted to take the puppy home. But his mother refused. Because the dog was a pit bull. And pit bulls were not allowed in the family. Jackson tried his best but failed to get his mother's agree. Jackson looked at Penelope in front of him but couldn't give him a home. Almost heartbroken. Tears fell down. At this moment, Penelope seemed to sense Jackson's heart, carefully coming to Jackson's side. He stretched out his front paws to put on Jackson's little head, as if stroking Jackson's head and comforting him. All the people present were moved by this scene. Jackson's mother saw that the bulldog, which has always been aggressive, has such a family side, and she immediately softened her heart. She turned to Jackson and said. If you want to adopt this dog. You must ensure that you can't give it up at will. And you must be responsible to the dog. Let the dog be your lifelong partner. Jackson was so happy that he burst into. Laughter immediately. Took out all his pocket money from his pocket. And put it in front of the staff. Turned around and hugged Penelope. From since then, Jackson has a good partner who will accompany him all his life. The friendship between humans and dogs can be regarded as the most sincere friendship in the world today. As the most loyal companion of human beings, dogs have played many irreplaceable roles in modern life. Just to show that love is mutual. Even animals understand this truth. Don't easily hurt a loyal animal to you.